guys. Hope we're all well. Hope you're doing okay. So, oh, no, there we go. I'm back on now. Sorry, we've had a few technical issues. So, how are we all doing? How's it all going? I hope you're all enjoying this beautiful weather. So, today's, as always, I've got Emily with me. Beautiful Emily. She's gorgeous. And obviously, I'm joined by Vian today. Because Rihanna is going to have a bit of a chat and I'm going to talk to Rhi about being part of the crew now. So first of all, I'd like to welcome all our new members. Hopefully you enjoy what you see and would like you to watch the videos and comment on them and give us a thumbs up. And if there's anything that you need investigating or you would like us to, then please go ahead and let us know. So obviously I first want to talk about Tuesday with the Halloween special. We had such an amazing day and an evening. It was absolutely brilliant. We got there in the morning and obviously we were granted permission to go into the church. We went in the church and my God, there was a real vibe about it. It was cold, it was eerie, it was dark, it was it was just magical. So the stories we were told about was the young girl and also about a witch now throughout the day and if you've seen on the halloween special we were hearing noises we were hearing taps we were hearing footsteps the old bow tower the ropes of the bow towers that was swinging richard got shoved um and yeah it was magical so throughout the day we did our investigations and we had a good investigation inside the church you know we checked everywhere make sure there was nothing hiding or there was no anything around that could cause any problems and obviously throughout the day we had people coming into the church to visit and obviously um you hold emily then so you can see her properly um be careful with her Turn her head round because she's a bit squashed. There we go. Sorry, guys. It just really loves Emily. She's, you know, she loves her. So, anyway, we're there and we had people come in the church and we had people ask us questions, what we were doing, and really interesting. And a lot of them were saying, oh, you know, do you know the story about the witch? Do you know about the story about the young girl? You know, their apparitions have meant to have been seen. Their... Um, been heard noises tapping and when the church has been opened some residents have been hearing singing and humming and everything else so we did our investigation which was brilliant so we ended up going to the local pub for somewhere to eat and drink and while we were there it was a typical scenario we walked in and you know when you go into a new place everyone just stops and turns and looks at you that's what it was and anyway, we had a drink and a bite to eat and people were coming up to us and asking us questions about what were we doing and everything. And um, one of them, one couple came up and was actually said, oh, do you know the story? It's right, I keep looking back at the, the TV screen as well just to make sure everything's all right and keep an eye on Emily because she does tend to move Move about. around sometimes. Just put her on your lap. Nah, sorry. That's it. Come Be on. careful with her. Anyway, so we were having a chat and just chewing the fat as you do and the couple came up to us and said oh you know do you know the story about the witch um we were like well we've heard what people have said about it and she wasn't one of these witches that you present with like a pointy hat pointy nose stirring a cauldron you know she was actually a herbalist witch and she was using um herbs and berries mushrooms all all things that you could conjure up potions if you want Find to call them um and so we you know we got talking about that and she tried to help a lot of people with their alignments you know like mushrooms with lavender but everybody branded her as a witch and they said you know that is a a true story and her apparition has been seen she's been wearing a long like gown um and a like a cloak kind of thing and anyway we did the evening and obviously Rianne was with us and 
Rianne doesn't really take part in these investigations. She's more of the camera crew with Richard, so she will take pictures. She will have a wander around and everything. Admittedly, it was dark. It was scary for her, bless her. But she did it, didn't you? You did really well. Yeah. You did it. Um, and anyway, what happened is we started to make contact and we came actually came into contact with the witch or should I say Paul came in contact with the witch he was you know talking and communicating with her and if you watch the video it gradually things started to take a sinister turn she wasn't a very nice witch and it just started to fire up so I used the pendulum board now the thing with the pendulum board it's is totally different to the Ouija board where with the Ouija board you know you ask questions and you get a reply with a pendulum board it's just a straight yes no unsure rephrase maybe so Paul was asking the questions and I had the pendulum board and I was holding the pendulum now with the pendulum board this is why we keep saying we want people to come out with us and we you know please get in touch if you do want to come out with us because we can send you to locations with us you know, if you can't get there, we can sort the transport out. That's not a problem. Um, and we like you to come with us. And we would like anyone, if they want to experience something or if they want to ask questions, then use... Be careful of Emily, please. I am. Um, you know, then we will start you off on the pendulum board and I will get you to ask questions through the pendulum board. Now, when you watch the video... You will probably say that my hand was moving and I was moving it. My hand was being moved by force and twice the pendulum got taken out my hand. It got pulled out my hand and it was from this witch. She didn't like the pendulum board. She would have preferred the Ouija board. Give Emily to me please. Thank you. There she is. Look, I've still got to do her hair look. Turn yourself around sweetie. There we go. So... She doesn't seem very happy today, does she? She doesn't seem she doesn't seem much of herself. Um, but we'll go on to Emily in a minute and whatnot. But anyway, so using the pendulum board, obviously this witch wanted to use a spirit board, which I didn't have with me because we didn't know what to expect. But anyway, it was an absolute brilliant, fantastic investigation, and we will be going back there again in an evening, and we'll be trying to make further contact. But I will be using the Ouija board. So, those who are not familiar with this little one, this is Emily, and she is now my spirit guide, because we did an investigation with her, and I did it, let's pop her head up a bit, there we go, pop her head up a bit, stop it please Ray, we did an investigation with her, she's all wonky today, what's the matter with her, there we go, um, so we did an investigation with her and um, we found out that her name came through and bless her little she doesn't want to look at the camera today what's the matter sweetheart why do you not want to look at the camera today you're not in the best of moods but anyway let's put her on down. she's a bit tired you know she still moves oh, look at her she's so wobbly bless her mm. she's not with it today are you sweetie you're not with it um obviously she does move at night so like I was saying this is Emily and she is my spirit guide and she comes on some investigations with us and basically things are starting to bump up now you know she's moving and I'm still going on still trying to get a camera on her to record her overnight with the DVR the K2 and obviously her on her own um, she's looking like that today she's a bit mm. But anyway, so this is Emily, and she's part of the crew, and she's just she's just amazing. And one of my videos I did do with her, she did have a couple of orbs go across the top of her head, so I know she's around. Now, obviously, I've got Rugrat behind me. Now, Rianne is part of the group, and like I say, she does a lot of camera work with Richard. She will go off at these locations and she will take pictures and everything so how do you find working with ghosts rugby ghosts um i find working with them pretty i don't know how to describe it it's technically kind of good i have to 
working with it, how much struggling with struggling with doing it. But um, being a part of the camera crew is awesome. I love taking pictures, and you never know what you could find taking pictures. So, obviously, another question is, what's wrong with your head today, sweetie? You're not right today, are you? You, you keep she keeps going from normally. If you move her head, it stays in one position, but she keeps moving. Um, sorry about that. Ree's kicking off. She's she's playing us a bit today. Um, I'm on the wrong side of the. Yes, she did. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, she's part of the crew, and obviously, we have had asked questions. You know, can children come with us on these investigations? Yes, only if they're nine. And. We've always said yes, they can, but obviously nine years and above because some of these can be quite frightening. And if anything happens or anything kicks off, you know, it can be quite upsetting for the kids. So, you know, we don't like to take the younger ones with us. So, apart from that, you know, everything's fine. We will be doing more investigations, but actually at the moment, everything's just with the weather being the way it is um, so we might not get out much but if we do obviously the videos will be uploaded and go on from there so like I said if anybody we always want people to comment on our videos to give us a thumbs up to give us a like you know if you want to um, your feedback on a video you know if you want to comment on it people have also asked um, about the K2 now obviously the K2 is a device which gives off electromagnetic fields and people have said to us before oh your equipment interferes with the K2 sometimes it can do that but if you watch our videos and when we're asking relevant questions and we're asking to communicate, we have always said if the lights are going off, we'll say, can you please move, can you please stop those lights? Um, and they do do that. If we were near electrical stuff, the K2 would be going off all of the time. It would constantly be non-stop. I went to do a investigation a while ago and we pulled up at the cemetery and it came up hello Paul hope you're well sweetheart Hi, Uncle. Um, we pulled up at one cemetery and I went to do an investigation but I didn't know there was a telephone mask behind me and as soon as I put the K2 on that was it it was going absolutely mental it was going wild there was just nothing I could do about it um, bloody computers do your head in anyway behave computer so that was it um so we don't use the k2 near anything electrical or anything that we think they could set it off um obviously we will be giving our findings she's really floppy today and i don't know why we will be giving our findings to the people of the parish that let us have access to the church and the cemetery well graveyard um, because actually a cemetery is a sacred ground where people are buried or they're cremated and their ashes interned where a graveyard is a burial ground that's actually within the church so there is a difference between a graveyard and a cemetery and yeah. this church we were particularly at yeah. um, walking around in the evening there is actually an underground to it now we couldn't get in because the gates were locked um, the gate was locked so we couldn't get down the stairs and actually under the church but it's something which I'm going to do and I will be filming that. We will obviously be going on other locations and trying to find different places to go. Um, I've had a lot of comments and PMs with regards to when I've been on investigations whether it's been with myself or with Paul or it's just been all of us together that um, occasionally we we do not as a mark of respect we do not film headstones with people's names on them I'll be back in a minute. okay I'm sort the headphones out. we will not be filming people's headstones we don't get any names in now there was one video I did oh for God's sake 
these bloody computers and they're meant to be the best thing yeah right <laughs> but anyway this one particular investigation I did at my favourite cemetery obviously I got somebody's name in and I had a lady PM me from there and she did say you know I think you did wrong because you've got a person's name buried you've got a person's name on view now that was just pure accident you know I didn't know we would sit in that close to a headstone a cross whatever it was and I did ask you know if they wanted me to take the post down I did but later find now the person whose name we got is not associated with the village so it's down to their family so if their family is watching or if they know the family you know please do get in contact with us and I will sort it out I will take the post down whatever um, but under no circumstances do we do photographing or filming people's headstones because we mark as respect and we respect a lot of things you know we respect people's loved ones and if we ever do go to a location and we start filming and people come into the graveyard cemetery church wherever we do stop filming we don't carry on filming and we tell them what we're doing because nine times out of ten people will just give us the ignorant look and um you know just what are you doing blah 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 mm. but yeah anyway so they're the few things um like I say, I will be using the pendulum board as well as the spirit board. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And yeah, so from there, um, like I say, Halloween was brilliant. Great investigation. Great evening. We will be doing it again, obviously. Not, well, hopefully, I'll still be going next year. You know, rugby ghost hunters will still be going. Um, and like I say and when Paul because I know he's listening I know when he did his live yesterday um, he was on about if you've got any questions or anything or if there's anything specific you want to ask or you want to know then you know you can message him or you can message me um, if there's any places you think that are worth investigating you know let us know um, what else was there there's not much really apart from like I said you know we're always looking for people to come out with us and we want you to come out with us I feel all the time that it's like me and Paul uh, you know calling onto these people please do get in touch with us you know we're not going to come to you if you want to come out on an investigation with us get into contact with us and we will sort something out we have had a few members come out with us and they've enjoyed it they've had a brilliant experience um, any new members that are here if you've got anything going on or if you've got any stories to tell then that would be brilliant um, so yeah yes Paul I do know I'm live on my timeline obviously it's cocked up somewhere because it's not only on the group it is on my timeline as well so hello to everyone that knows me but are not in the group um, and yeah, so that is it. So there's not much else. This little, she looks a bit unsad. She looks sad today. What's the matter? You know, she just doesn't seem herself. I mean, she looks a bit sad. I don't know why. But, um, but there you go. So yeah, so I hope you're all doing really well and staying safe in this weather. Obviously, Paul did a remembrance episode, video, whatever you want to call it, about putting the poppies on the soldiers' headstones because we have done investigations and we have come up with people, communicated with um, soldiers and everything. I'm looking forward uh, to seeing you, Paul. And whatnot, so... And it was a really shame that I couldn't be there, but obviously we've got issues with the car at the moment and we can't really do long distances. Um, but yeah, what else can I say? You know, it's it's been a magical these last few days and these last few weeks. You know, we've had some good investigations and, you know, just bear with us guys if 
we're not doing much at the moment. Do you want Emily? We'll be careful with her. Okay. Um, obviously with these investigations, because the weather's... Because a lot of these churches now are closed for the winter and they shut down. But we can still do the grounds. Now, <coughs> careful with her hands, because she's very fragile. So, obviously, as it's... I was, as it's coming up to bonfire night, which is tomorrow. Can you just be careful with it? Can yeah. you put her on the sofa, please? Okay. So I'm going to get Rita to put her on the sofa because I'm getting a vibe that she's not she's not happy today. Um, so she's on the settee, right? Um, hopefully, I was weather permitting going out tomorrow to do a invest. Can you stop it? I'm sorry, sorry, guys, just bear I'm with sorry. me. Stop it. I'm sorry. Um, and I was hopefully going to do a bit of an investigation, possibly today, but the weather's crap, so I'm not going to. And maybe tomorrow I will go up to a church that's in a village, not far from us, about 10 minutes drive, if that. Um, and it's associated with Guy Fawkes and where he was in that area. And the investigation I did do there, I came into contact with an old woman and she was she was a old hag she was horrible she was she was very abrupt she didn't like me at all um so hopefully i'll be going back there and doing more investigation and weather permitting tomorrow all being well yes paul we will be taking you there so and you know the place where we're on about but yeah so that's a bit of a brief of what's been going on like i say um We will be doing as many investigations as we can, um, but obviously we've got the weather to think about because now it's getting cold and I don't really want to take Rian out when it's raining and it's cold. Yes, it's the perfect weather to do an investigation, but we don't. Um, we just think of all the safety and everything and we give a lot of people a lot of respect. So, yeah, that's all really. Um, one thing I want to touch upon is that there's a few paranormal groups on YouTube that if you can I would like you to subscribe to um, myself and I know Paul we do watch a program called Paranormal Nightmare and with three brothers um, Josh, Rocky and Sean and what they do is they go around to different places and they help people and they had an episode yesterday that aired this morning but they episode because obviously they're in America it's, it's time differences and it was really really sad it was such a sad investigation and I was in tears watching it but if you want to go ahead um, just search in YouTube for Paranorm Paranormal Nightmare they have got a Facebook page, you know, you can either join them to be a patron of the group or you could just subscribe like I've done. They're brilliant, you know, there's a lot of investigations that they do, that they use the equipment we do. Um, so yeah, go give them a like and a subscribe, they're brilliant. Um, and yeah, if you've been watching a programme as well called Uncanny on BBC that's been rather interesting because there's been a lot of stories about that um, and about the paranormal and yeah so all in all that's today's live now obviously when it comes to paranormal and spirits and ghosts and everything there is going to be a lot of you out there that are not going to believe you are going to be skeptics you know you're going to turn around and say what you're doing is a load of crock of shit it's all fake but you we guys don't swear in this house. the ones that say that you need to come out on investigations with us you know and i'm going to bring paul into it again but a lot of these paranormal 
people, if you want to call them, you know, they mock mediums, they think they're crock of shit and they're fake and everything. Now, I haven't known Paul that long. I've only known him since Richard and him have got back in contact with each other. Um, and obviously, there is a lot of places we have gone that I have actually just said to Paul, are you picking up on anything? Are you, um, you know, do you feel something? And I've got a bit of a naughty confession to make to Paul, and I know he's listening. But when we did that walk around at the church before we did the evening location, yes, I did get the spirit talker out, the ghost tube, and I got some names come through. And what came through on me, obviously, you had the same experience that Tuesday night. So I kept that from you, but what I had and what I was experiencing, you had that night, um, which was brilliant. And so I'm sorry for that, but from now on, what I'm going to do is going to do like what another paranormal show, and that's on really. They take the medium to these places, but I'm not going to tell you where I'm going to take you. We are just going to take you to this place and say, right, get on with it. So you're probably going to be a bit cross with me for that, Mr. Creswell, but you know, that's just me. I like springing surprises on you. So. From now on, so I will not be telling Paul where we are going or what goes on. I will just see what he picks up. And, you know, don't mock mediums, guys, because they're brilliant. They know a lot of things and they can pick up on a lot of things. Yes, I know Paul works with me and I enjoy working with him. You know, he's absolutely brilliant. Um, but when someone says mediums are, you know, fake and everything, they're not they know what they're on about and paul some people will probably watch paul's video bring it on yeah all right well i will mister i will i ain't telling you anywhere where we're going i'm just taking you there <laughs> so um yeah and these a lot of people like say they mock mediums and they say they're fake and they're everything but there's been many times we've been on investigations and Paul has had to step in and he's broke the circle. He, you know, he's called it off because things have got out of hand and he knows how to do it. Um, so if you see him or you get to meet him, you know, have a chat with him, talk to him about it because he's willing to speak with you about it. And, you know, if you've got anything, any questions you want to ask him, you know, ask him you know he is the best thing about rugby ghost hunters he's a medium he's you know he knows things that i have not told him various things and he's picked up on um you know Paul so just yeah. said bring it on i know but you know just And Summers, what are you on about? You two are conjuring up something. So this is what they're like. When him, when Richard and Paul get together, they gang up on me and they start doing all these stupid, stupid uh, stuff. Dad. Um, yes, and it is a bit of a story of Anne Summers, but I'm not going into that detail. I'm here to basically catch up with you guys. Um, so yeah so that is it so obviously if you want to speak to me speak to me if you want to speak to the boys you've got richard you can contact thank you really or you've got paul you can contact i can't see there we go i'm cleaner now um I'm clean dumb but yeah so you know a big big hello and warm welcome to our new members please oh pardon me where did that come from <laughs> please please comment on the videos please watch them please give us your feedback you know we'd really love to hear any criticism you've got or any points you want to make out or if you've got any ideas what you want us to do then Can I speak to them? um you know please do get in contact obviously i want to do another estes spirit method with paul Can and 
um, and go on from there. And another thing, that's one more thing before I go. Um, another thing people have asked is, you know, with Rian being on investigations, sometimes I will use Re as a trigger object because if we're in a particular location that has got a lot of child spirits, obviously with Re being as young as she is, children have the ability to see things as well as animals. Um, you know, like dogs can sense dogs can sense things. Cats not so well, but dogs are better. Um, and it's the same with children. If we've got any child spirits around, obviously we will ask them questions because children will communicate with children and they can go on their level. And we have had a few spirit children around and they've been some of them have been really quite playful Hello, and they've been um but you can bake my task. What do you say? Thank you, Uncle. Right. So yeah, we're gonna leave it there now guys. So yeah hope you enjoyed this video please comment on it if you want to yes we um, would really love you to comment on it obviously i've got my youtube channel which is rugby ghost hunters so if you want to go on that if you don't get time to watch any of the videos on our facebook page then you can watch them on the youtube channel and if you're um, looking into the lives and you want to find our channel or on youtube or on facebook type up rugby ghost hunters I say no more. It's been said for me. So, on that note, we will leave it there. Like I say, I do apologise for Re the way she has been and everything. Emily wants to say goodbye. But obviously, yeah, Emily's back. She's. I don't know. Oh dear, <laughs> she's got a floppy head Careful. on her this morning. But yeah. So, what are you doing? Causing mischief, aren't you? Yeah, true. Giggly. Um, I love her. She's gorgeous. She's, yeah. Some people say weird talking to a porcelain doll and everything, but her head's all floppy. There we go. Um, um, Emily's really important, and she, she is important, really. It's she her is. spirit guide, and if anybody takes her off for a sec, or if anybody think happens to mum, she will be very, very depressed for like six months. <laughs> depressed what is this child saying um no i feel a very very strong connection with her and a very strong bond with her you know she sits at the side of the bed in the evening and i always say good night to her good morning to her good and morning. she is like a, a proper life-size child like a, a toddler you know she's lovely say hi emily Can so I yeah so without note, obviously put her back on the settee, Rianne. Okay. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Um, and if you want to get in touch with me, you can do so. If you want to get in touch with Paul, you can do so. Any questions you've got to ask Paul, you can do so. You know, he really is a great guy. I'm not just saying that because he's part of the group and he's very, you know, he's part of the family. He really is a great guy. We love him to bits. And, you know, he's really good at what he does. So just give them a bit of credit and, you know, go on from there. So, as usual, from the Rugby Go Centre, it's goodbye from Richard. Goodbye. Goodbye from Rianne. Goodbye. Hope you all have a good day. And obviously, goodbye from myself. And I will catch in with you again very soon. So, until the next time, as always, stay safe. Happy hunting. I won't say happy Halloween because Halloween's over. Yeah. And I'm not even going to say the C word happy that i'm not even going to say that yet so if you are having any fireworks or if you are going out to a celebration please stay safe please look after yourself wrap up warm you know just be safe and i will see you all very soon bye take care bye. guys bye hope you all have a great day yeah you've been very stupid